Welcome back to Unicorn Overlord. In the last episode, we completed the side quest, the Tormented Helm. And we took over these, uh, this town here. And uh, we've got a fort there as well. And then there's another town there. Let's go ahead and complete some deliveries here. Okay, I'm going to need to complete that one, too. Need more Corvia herbs, though. Um, let's see what else I want to buy here. Buy the dice, obviously, because they're pretty cheap. I haven't needed to use these mines or anything. They're probably pretty good though. These are probably pretty good too, but they're so damn expensive. I'll just wait. I always buy the smoked nuts and the healing stuff, and then I usually just... I don't bother buying the revival herbs because I don't really use them too much. Come back soon. Kind of gave us detailed instructions on what remains to be done. Or we can cock the remedy on our own now so you can leave matters here to us. Okay, just seeing if they have anything we can like buy off them or anything okay oh I think that might be enough we also have another ruins here too. I know there's a carving here. We have to come back to that though. Oh, here's a ruins. Rookie Traveler. Traversed over 30% of the world map. Another Hornet. Cornash. Nice. Another Divine Shard there as well. I think I didn't mean to do that. Come on. Stop talking. There's a sparkly thing over there. Alright, re re we rebuilt this town. If I could speak correctly, that'd be great. My countless thanks, Sir Elaine. Your actions have... Here, save, save us all. Hell yeah. We'll station Adele there. Here to shop? Or maybe to sell? Just say the word and it's yours. Come back soon. Actually, I should probably check the armory out first, right? You're after. You're in the right place. Rookie egg. User earns 100% EXP. Holy shit, that's good. You can also buy golden eggs here too. I'm glad I decided to go there and buy that. We're going to give that to somebody. Are you got anything good to say? All right, nope, nothing good. All right, can we complete this one over here? Ah, still need more herbs. 
We'll come back to that one then. When we get three more herbs. So let's see, what else we got to do here? There's another cemetery around here, it looks like. So we'll go ahead and examine this. Of course. By the holy light. <laughs> oh, we got it complete. We get charm of boarding, gravekeeper's boots, and a bouquet. 20 renown as well. Hell yeah. Let's see. Let me check that axe out that we got in the last episode. Black iron axe. It has critical rate plus 5%, which is really good with the house carls. Because they have rolling axe, which is three times. So you have three times the chance to crit. That's pretty good. It's also a lot more powerful than the crushing axe. I'm going to give him the rookie egg too, I think. So I gave Aubin my rookie egg and golden egg. So Aubin's like, uh, what is it? Uh, he's my gold getter and he's my e egg. He's gonna level up a lot too. Let's see, check out the other stuff we got. Gravekeeper's boots. Poison immunity and death blow immunity. And then it has grants the user plus one AP. I'll activate after an ally is defeated up by an attack. That's kind of garbage. That barely will ever happen. Yeah, that's not very good. Unless you want the, you know, the poison immunity or the death blow immunity. You equip it for that, but it's not worth it for the other effect. Where's the other thing I got? Did I make it equip with somebody? Oh yeah, it did. Charm of Warding. Magic Barrier. Negate the next magic attack image dealt to an ally. Also negates afflictions. Okay, before an ally is hit with a magic attack. Ooh. Give that to him. Or wait. Not him. Him. So this but negates one physical attack. And then we give him this. Oh, no, we can't. Damn. Can't be equipped by him. They probably can only be equipped by clerics, I bet. So we can give it to her, maybe. Yep. And that's pretty good, too, because they're weak to magic, so... That'll kind of protect them a little bit. Alright, what else we need to do here? So we saw that. Yep. Can we rebuild this town? We can. Oh no, we can't. We need lumber. Here to shop? Or maybe to sell? Just say the word and it's yours. Thank you very much. I want to go to the Monte, the Mont Libre, Libre Church. Oh, what the hell? You can't do anything here? Weird. Yeah, 
Need more honey apples, which... Okay, we can complete the second... If we're done with this, we can station a guard here now. Alright. Rebuilt the town. Thanks a lot, Master Elaine. Everyone's happy again. It's all thanks to you. You're damn right. You gotta buy some nuts. You guys know. I, you guys know. I got. You know. You know. I gotta buy the nuts. Always gotta buy the nuts. I love. I love nuts. Is there anything else around over here? Yep. Can we beat this guy yet? Yep, nice. That's that stone circle thing we've already done before. And this leads into Drake and Hold, which we're going to be doing uh, here in a minute. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else we can do here. I don't think there's anything else we can do. We'll come back when we get more stuff and we'll rebuild these two towns and then, then we'll be done with that. We'll have rebuild all, all the towns in this area. Except for this one. But we won't, be to, we won't be able to go to this town for a long time because the battle for this area is level 38. So it'll be a long time for that. Alright, let's head on over to uh, Drakenhold. Damn rebels. Everyone shall tear you apart. The battle for Mir. And they have Wyvern Knights. Alright, got another Liberation Battle here. The Battle for Mir. Though Mir checkpoint has long stood as Drakenhold's defense against a possible Cornian incursion. Is now fallen into Zenoran hands. Defeat them and lay claim to the Colossal Gate. Let me show you the rewards for it. You get four honors, one lapis lazuli, and 1,000 war funds. And the units are Wyvern Knights. Uh, the, the main units are Wyvern Knights and Hunters. So you're going to want archers, I guess, to take out the Wyvern Knights, I'm guessing. And as for hunters, you can use like sword fighters or whatever. Uh, knights are good against uh, archers. Rebels here? Oomph. As if the state of Drakenhold wasn't trouble enough. No matter. We'll just have to show them what we do to those who defy us. Well, you will try. I don't know if the Griffin Riders are better than the... are stronger against the Wyverns or not. But I don't know if we can bring out the archery unit. Where should I go? They should be favored. Yep. 
if we're favored against all three of them. And that unit up there is a bunch of archers. Which this unit can take out pretty easily. And then, um... Just throw out a lanes unit as well. I don't know how good a lane is against these enemies though. Oh, yeah, he's pretty good as well. Diving thrust. Oh, Rolf is already to a level that he's getting less EXP. make her I need to make one of the sword fighters a leader not him though not a this is it. don't lose focus let's keep going whenever you need me you summoned me hmm. that's actually a pretty good matchup too uh, but they're already so high level. It shall be done. Where should I go? The time is at hand. Who needs the levels the most? They're already good levels up. Uh these other units need to level up some. This unit does. This unit could use some levels too. Are they favored? Okay, they are favored. Okay, get over there, bro. Oh god, it's gonna take. Let me use a light feather. It's gonna take this dude forever to get over there. It's gonna take him like a year to get over there. Get your rear and gear, bro. You want the XP? You gotta earn it. I'm gonna get this unit ready just in case, because we are limited on time. Yeah, it's going to be bad against those. Can't hit them. Okay, still favored though. We'll get them eventually. They can't even do any damage to us. No more hurt. Where should I go? Only eight damage. That means they they're missing a lot. Alright, we're just gonna have to finish all the battle, screw it. Fall back. Dang, 20 attack from my archer there. And there we go, victory. Very easy fight. Of course, we were a little bit over leveled for that fight, but it is what it is.
Joseph! Do mine eyes deceive me, Virginia? You were but a teenager when last we met, but now you stand a princess fair and true. A lot can change in ten years. Indeed it can. I'm relieved to see you safe. The same to you. When our scouts brought word of your army's approach, I knew I had to verify the report for myself. Scouts, my lady? But I was led to believe you were in hiding. <sighs> I was sent here to Drakenhold ten years past, as a refugee when Galerius brandished his sword against our family. I've been in the care of their second prince, Gilbert, ever since. Forgive me for not coming to your aid sooner. There's nothing to forgive. My attendant Leia sees my every need fulfilled and more. The issue at hand, your ladyship? <laughs> yes, yes. Go on, then. The good Prince Gilbert is currently amassing troops at Balmrate in hopes of recapturing his castle. We ask that you and your soldiers cooperate in that siege. But such a request must surely meet the approval of your commander. Might we solicit an audience? Oh, I almost forgot. Where is he? Huh? It's been too long, Virginia. Is that you, Elaine? I barely recognized you, grown as you are. You know, I can still remember when you were just a babe at your mother's breast. And now look at you, even taller than I am. I believe I was seven when last we met, and weaned for years by then. What I mean to say is, I'm proud of you. That, and that my blade belongs to this liberation of yours from here forward. Your ladyship, please. Have you forgotten you're still under Prince Gilbert's protection? This isn't a decision you should make without at least consulting him first. I don't need his protection, not anymore. Though, I admit, I owe him quite a lot for what he's done. I don't plan on letting that debt go unpaid. Which is exactly why Elaine here is going to help us, yes? Everybody wins, by my count. Satisfied? If not, there's always room at my side for a hard-to-please attendant. <laughs> Hey, uh, you sure about this? She seemed more like a windstorm than a princess. Queen Elania often spoke of how young Virginia reminded her so greatly of herself as a child. And I must say, the resemblance is striking. She was always more sister than cousin to me, in truth. Whenever I needed an ear, hers was the first I'd pull. In any case, Leia, the Liberation Army will answer your call. And thank you again for the kindness you've shown Virginia all these years. I know she can be a bit... difficult. Tis no greater kindness than yours, Prince. Cornea's aid is a beacon of light in our darkest hour. Know that my life is ever in your service, and that of the glory of Drakenhold. Oh, we got two new characters right as right as we get into Drakenhold. Virginia and Leia. They should have made the princess be called Leia. Would have been too good. Mirror checkpoint is Anora's no longer, Your Highness. We should free to pass through whenever we please. As for Virginia, she is a new class, Crusader, uh, from Final Fantasy X. Uh, so the Crusader class 
Uh, she's so she's built to beat sin, basically. Um, she's got the, all the tools to defeat sin. I'm kidding. Anyway, a royal warrior, bearing the blood of Cornea royalty, can use anti-flying and anti-armored skills. Effective versus Griffin knights and hoplites. Okay. So we're gonna put her with. Uh, Elaine. They have good guard rate. They have an S in guard rate and good physical attack and A on that. A good physical defense and HP as well. A dual shield. Ally units within range will not incur sis attacks or first strikes. Ooh. And then Blade Wave's pretty good too. Block an enemy attack. The medium guard. Rear stores 25% HP. I level 15 to get Maiden's Hammer. Uh, she, Iron Crusher. Or 50%. Defense versus armored targets. Plus 50% potency versus armored targets. Yeah, so she just automatically destroys armored targets. She gets 100% boost against armored targets. That's crazy. And then vertical edge, become a true strike. Ignores 50% defense. And plus 50 potency versus flying targets. Yeah, so she's really good. As for Leia, we're going to put her with this unit over here. I'll go ahead and remove that stuff from that one. And we'll put Leia there. Welcome to the party, Leia. And we'll give her a bronze bingo, I guess. Or bronze bray, I mean. And a Cornelian pendant. She has Wyvern Razor. 10% critical rate. Critical damage as well. That's pretty good. That's a damn good weapon there. What does she have equipped? Okay, she has a bunch of black iron stuff. Guard efficiency, royal guard. Pretty good. Alright. Hope we got a scene here. Drake and hold. Elaine. From this point forward lies what used to be the Grand Kingdom of Drakenhold. Sadly has now fallen entirely into Zenoran hands. You folks come from across the border. Let's take care up ahead if so. And why do you say that? Zenora's been tightening their patrols. Get the feeling they are ready up for an execution. I saw them transporting a prisoner just the other day, stunning knight, in coat black armor. Must have been General Baron Baron Garia or whatever. What did you say? Um Travis? I sorry Elaine, it's nothing. Back to the matter at hand, if we could. If we don't liberate the region now, we'll come to regret it later. I can promise you that. Fair point. We prepare to deploy at once. Okay, we're forced to do this. This is probably going to be a long fight, so I'm going to end the video here. And we'll do that battle in the next episode.
So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.